we're, we're talking about uh, Eddie Van Halen trills and tremolo picking. Uh, now, obviously, the tremolo picking is when you're, when you're picking one note really fast. So there's that, and then to me, the trills would be something like... Where you're, where you're picking a group of notes, uh, you're not, you're not playing a bunch of notes really. You're just picking like a group of notes really fast. So trill is like a group of notes picked fast, and then tremolo picking is single notes picked, picked fast. Uh, obviously, I don't, I don't tremolo pick like like Eddie did. He had, he gripped with, with his middle and his. Uh, thumb I I'm a index thumb guy and I feel like either way like like you can you can pick fast either way it's just it's just a matter of you know you got you got to practice but this is some things that I'll tell you when it comes to picking fast you, you know you don't want to use your big muscles in your arm you want to think it's small muscles uh Think obviously keep keep loose as loose as you possibly can. Ten, loose muscles work a lot faster than tense muscles, uh, and it took it, it took me a long time to get a decent tremolo picking thing. Um, what I would recommend is I start off with this. <laughs> Don't don't get frustrated if you have to start like this. You know. <laughs> but the main thing is, you know, get your right hand down, and then like if you're learning eruption, then once you have the you're able to keep that that fast like like fan thing going then you can start adding the melody which is In case you are learning, eruption is. That can be helpful to see. So let's see this. Can you see that? I'm not going to get into like the modes used, but, but he's really, he's mixing like, like, a major scale with a mixolydian and then a phrygian at the end. Uh, I guess I just kind of did just talk about the modes, but regardless, so that that's that's the tremolo picking side. He really had he had two things that he would do. I mean, obviously you can go up or down uh, with tremolo picking, and we kind of just saw like a melody with tremolo picking, and then he went he descended, uh, and like the beat is solo as well as. I mean, tons of solos, really. Anytime he was improvising, a lot of times he would, like, off of a, off somebody get me a doctor. So that that's in B, like like B minor pentatonic on the G string. On the B, the solo, I think he ends the solo with. That's uh, think think E minor. Okay, so that's the that's the tremolo picking. Think think about using the small muscles in your hand. Um, I know that some people talk about. You just want 
like your tiny muscles in your hand to be active, you know? And uh, stay loose, just, just practice, get it up to speed. It'll come, it might take a while, but like you'll get there. I actually, when I'm, when I'm doing the tremolo picking thing, I know I said like, like, like you don't want tension, but what I really meant was you don't want tension in your hand or, or your wrist. I do feel a decent amount of, of tension in my arm when like like in your tricep almost because you're trying to you're trying to keep your arm stationary so so you can be accurate but obviously you're not trying to keep these little like baby bones and baby muscles uh, like like you want those moving freely so I guess like maybe you do want your upper arm kind of stiff kind of rigid, but small muscles. Stay loose down here. Uh, the next thing is, is the trills, which uh, let, just for uh, simplicity, we'll do it in E. So he did this a lot, like. Um, so think of, think of like applying tremolo picking to, to like a three note sequence, you know, like this. So this is. Slow down. To me, to me, the the trill is is this. That's the trill. Um, uh, likewise, we can we can get our pinky involved. Th that one's hard to play slow, actually. But when you're trying to make these make these stretches, just remember. I know you can't see my wrist that well, but think about, about keeping your wrist low. It's always a good idea to try and keep your thumb in the middle of, of the neck. Imagine that there's a, a stripe in the middle of your neck, like a truss rod stripe. You can do that trill with any group of three. And when you're doing that kind of trill, think about, about uh, groups of three and then, and then trilling the first note and then, and then pulling off really quick. Um. But yeah, so that's the main things that I wanted to talk about. Trilling and then uh, like the tremolo picking. Uh, I find that, that when I'm doing the trill thing, I like to do three note per string pentatonic. So uh, there's a lot of good resources online regarding uh, three note per string pentatonics. I like to like... <laughs> I just think it sounds cool. Not that, I mean, not that like, like uh, diatonic scales don't sound cool. But uh, it's really fun to do like the stretchy pentatonics with the trill thing. Uh, I hope this, this helps. If you like what you're seeing, like the page, sub. I will see you next time. I got a bunch more Van Halen videos. Big Van Halen fan, and uh, yeah, just trying to pay some homage uh, now that he's passed. So I'll see you.